Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I have got a watercolor Wednesday to share with you and I'm going to be using another Stamping Bella image. Uh, this one is called Christmas Bug and it is a bit older of a stamp. I think it's probably three or four Christmases ago, uh, but it is still available on the Stamping Bella website. So I will link that below for you if you're interested in it. I am getting started here by stamping this out. I'm using my Fabriano 140 pound hot press watercolor paper and my Simon Says Stamp black ink pad. I've then pulled out my Ganzai Tambi watercolors and my Santa Fe brushes, and I'm gonna get started with the coloring here. I did skip ahead a bit. I've left out my background. I didn't do any mixing really or blending. I just used that light blue periwinkle from the straight out of the watercolor set. And then to get that sort of cloudy, wintry background look, I added just some water, some plain water from my bowl there, just in some spots and let that sit to sort of let everything kind of melt and move around and give a little bit of a cloudy look. So at this point, I am gonna go ahead and turn up the music. And for those of you who like to watch the process, I have left the majority of that in here for you. For those of you who'd rather skip to the end when I put the card together, you'll want to meet us back at the eight minute mark.
So I have taken my panel and trimmed that out with my MFT Blueprints 32 frame die. And this is gonna give me a panel that measures three and three quarters by five inches. Adding a little bit of painter's tape behind that there so I can press that onto my board. And that's gonna help me hold that in place as I add down my snow marker. Uh, so this is made by Marvy. It's one of my favorite things to use at Christmas and during the winter time. It gives a really fun puffy snow effect. And you basically put it on the same way that you would with some paint or um, like a masking fluid. I'm actually using a blending stump that I would normally use with my colored pencils. That way my bristles on my, uh, or my bristles on my brush won't get messed up. So I've actually taken to using this when I do my masking fluid as well. I'll give you a look at that the next time I use it. Um, but this is a, a great technique so you, that you don't have to mess up any of your brushes or have a specific brush to use uh, with each thing. So I've taken one of my acrylic blocks here and just tapped out some of this liquid from the pen and then I will dip my blending tool in there and just go ahead and press that onto the areas where I'd like to have my snow. And then once I get all of those little patches on the car filled in and around the tires, I will take that and just add a few dots in the background so that I have some of that puffy snowflake coming down as well. Here I've grabbed my heat tool and I'm just gonna run that over top of my scene. That's gonna get everything nice and puffed up. And I'm gonna hold that up here so you can get a good look at the dimension. I will have some pictures to, so you can really see that on my blog post as well. For my outside sentiment, I'm going to use the included season's greetings. And I'm gonna stamp that here on some MFT black licorice cardstock. I'll go ahead and hit that with my powder tool. And then I'm gonna stamp this out using my Versamark ink. And I will heat set that with some Simon Says Stamp Fine Detail White Embossing Powder. I've gone ahead and trimmed each of these individual words out, keeping that very, very close. I've grabbed some Scotch foam tape and I'm gonna go ahead and pop up my front panel here. And I'll place that down on my card base, which is made from Paper Tray Ink Plum Pudding Cardstock. And then I've also added some of that foam tape behind my sentiment here, and I'm gonna press both of these into place as well. For the inside, I've got a Nina panel trimmed to three and three quarters by five inches. And I've pulled in a sentiment from another Stamping Bella set. This is called Mary Everything. Again, this is another older stamp, but I will link it below for you. It's still available on their website directly. I'll ink that up here with my Simon Says Stamp Black ink. Add a stripe of this black licorice across the bottom. Add some ATG to the back. And place that on the inside of my card base. And that will complete the card for today. Here are a few close-ups of the finished card. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I used. 
If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.